In November, Lexington played host to what's deemed the proving ground of champions, the McClay Finals. America's finest gathered for the last junior jumping event of 2023, including the standout favorite, an 18-year-old who'd already secured a national jumping medal earlier in the season. I started riding pretty much since day one, since I was born. It's a part of my whole family. Horses have always been a part of my life. My parents and grandparents have always been in the horse business, so it's kind of all we do. And um, I've always loved to do it. It's kind of always been an obsession of mine, and it's 24-7, all day, every day, all year long. <laughs> Tomorrow's my last day to show as a junior, and um, I'm excited. It's a very bittersweet moment for sure, but I would love to finish on a high note, but I'm, I'm happy either way. I'm just grateful to be here, really. Every good rider in America dreams of competing in the McClay Finals. It's a culmination of many years of work. I think it's steep in history. Uh, I think when you look down the roster of previous winners, many are uh, Olympians and top trainers and uh, people that are thought of as top horsemen. So it is high on the list of uh, America's youth to try to compete and try to win this championship. I think it's not just a class, it's, a, it's more of a history and it's, it's a very special feeling to be able to compete here. The equitation finals for me is, is the basically a identical of jumping a World Cup finals and the pressure and the technicality of the courses. If you were to walk that course and raise it to a meter 60, it's probably a World Cup finals course. Maybe that one might be a little harder actually, <laughs> wouldn't be as technical, but you know the core of it is all the same. The jumps may be smaller but the technicality and the pressure and the situation that you're in is exactly the same. It's a long and draining day for the junior riders, with more than 200 jumpers vying for victory in the multi-round event. I go later in the day, so I don't have to be up too early to walk the course. There's separate walks throughout the day. I will watch as many as I can so that I have a good idea of the course, but not too many where I start to overthink it. I'm just going to do my best and whatever happens, happens. We've prepared all year for this, so I'm going to do my best and either way, I'm, I'm just happy to be here. It would mean a lot to win tomorrow, of course. Uh, it's, a, it's a big goal of mine and it would be a dream come true. With the McClay Championship falling at the end of the junior jumping year, it's a tense time for the riders, all wanting to see out the season in style. You have to be on your game to be the winner. It's a lot of rounds, so consistency is the biggest factor. Putting in a solid first round, hopefully. A lot of it is the mental game. Last year, she was called on top of McClay finals for a majority of the day, and she had a bobble in the test and lost it. In that moment, we were upset and uh, heartbroken for her, but I think this year it's really brought her back better than ever. And uh, I mean, the equitation, uh, you're striving for perfection when you go into the ring, and uh, each championship she's gotten better and better, and you can see that this final season. The course today, I think it's really about track and precision and accuracy everywhere. So you really have to be on top of your horse, to know exactly where they're landing. Right from the first fence, she met it perfectly out of stride, which she needed, and then uh, all the way to the last fence, she really knew exactly where she was. Um, I was so happy with my horse. He really performed today. It was one of um, the best rounds we've had, really, this final season, and I'm super happy with him. Um, now we just wait and see, um, but no matter what, I'm super happy with him and grateful for my team that makes this happen. After the first round, the riders had been ranked. Carly McCutcheon was on top. Anything can happen in the second round. At medal finals, I came back in 14th, so I definitely did not think I was going to win, but anything can happen, so I'm just trying to take it one round at a time. <laughs> I think it's been proven that the winners of this class have gone on to great things. The kids that win this class or do well in this class have a huge leg up um, in getting jobs and kind of getting their foot in the door for the next sort of opportunity. 
And so, yeah, I think that it, it, it plays a big role in the, in the future careers of these young people. I have so many fun memories of the early mornings and the late nights, especially when it all kind of came together. I remember standing in the, the prize giving with my mom next to me and just like a, a really special family moment. So I definitely have fond memories looking back. I'm extremely proud. Um, when we started the year, I kind of put a little competitiveness into her and I was like, I want you to finish your junior career better than my last junior year. And she's exceeded that and I couldn't be any more proud of that. Another impressive round had been and gone and after a long wait, the judges decided that they'd seen enough. Carly McCutcheon was confirmed 2023 McClay champion. <laughs> Carly, mm -hmm. you just won the Play Nashville Challenge. Hi. Um, I'm still a bit speechless. It doesn't feel real yet. I don't really think it's sucking in, but it's just such a privilege to be here and show at this prestigious horse show. It's such a historic ring and historic event in general. So I'm just so grateful for the team behind me and especially Chaco Star. It wouldn't be possible without these horses. So um, to have him as my partner is, it's just, it's an incredible feeling. He's done a lot for me, which makes it kind of the sweet part about moving into the future. I know that he set me up for starting off a good professional career and I'm, I'm looking forward to the future.